My name is Vincent Walton, and I'm an airline technician for a major airline and a leader for 423 Ministries. I became exposed to my first dirty magazine by the age of 12. At this time in my life, my grandparents had adopted me and I found the dirty magazine in their home where my uncle had left it behind when he grew up. This is when I learned about masturbation. I think that being exposed to this material at such an early age and having to live with my grandparents because my own parents were either unwilling or unable to raise me just created a perfect foundation for pornography to wreak havoc in my life. I continued to grow, of course, and that exposure to pornography grew with me as well. Uh, I carried it with me most of my adult years. I got to where I would hang out in bars and nightclubs just to seek out women for sexual encounters. Uh, it really became bad when the, when, when the internet and the iPhone came to life. Technology made it so I could instantly have porn in secret. By the time I met my current wife, I really thought my behavior was under control. So I married her without disclosing my behavior. And boy, was I sadly mistaken. Marriage did not cure me. And in fact, it made my behavior even worse. My wife discovered some unopened condoms inside my car that had fallen out of my pocket. She confronted me with them and I had no choice but to take what I had done and tell her everything that I had been engaged in. I shattered my wife's heart and her life and our marriage. After some time went by, she gathered herself and she asked me, is this how you wanna be? Or, or is, is this what you want in your life? At that moment, I burst into tears and I said to her, absolutely not. Uh, I don't know why I act this way. It's been like this for years and I do not know how to correct it. She said to me, I know where you can get some help, but you're gonna have to get honest and you're gonna have to do some work. She made some calls and I got counseling from a sexual therapist uh, that lasted the better part of a year. The grace my wife extended to me and the expertise of that counselor that I had saw was the turning point for me. That counselor walked me back through my life and helped me to see why and how my behavior had developed. It was the beginning of change for me. I used to be so closed up and wouldn't allow people to get close to me. Then one Sunday, I saw the advertisement for 423 Ministries at my church at MacArthur Boulevard Baptist to let us know a group was being formed. That's how I came to 423. I went to the first meeting and instantly found new relationships. After about a month, I became a co-leader in our group. I found more men that loved God, but were having the same struggle that I had walked through. These men helped me to continue my recovery. My favorite part about 423 is getting to know other men that love God and are willing to be open and honest about where they have been or where they are in their struggle. We talk about real issues that men have in our meetings. I have witnessed not only my own healing, but real healing in other men at 423. There's just something about men being together and, and being vulnerable and honest with one another. Men lifting each other up in prayer helps us to handle our struggles and grow in our love for Christ. I am thankful to be a part of this group and I would recommend anyone that is struggling with pornography or sexual behavior to join us at 423 Ministries where you can meet other men that have had some similar struggles and you won't be judged and you cannot surprise these people. 423 gives men a place to have hope that there is recovery and that God can change your life.